Welcome to the EFS survey tutorial for beginners. This video series will show you the way to a finished survey project in 8 steps. This video covers step 2, entering the questions. We are now in the survey menu where you can start editing your project. Enter your questions into the questionnaire here. On the left hand side of the survey menu you find all the important functions for project management. The questions can be entered via Questioner Editor. There are three levels in each survey in EFS. The Complete Questionnaire, the Individual Pages of the Questionnaire and the Individual Questions. First you are on the Questionnaire level. At the beginning you only see the final page, which is automatically created. You will have to create all the other pages yourself. So let's create a new page. This is where you enter the title of the new page. Checking the box will move you directly to the new page. Let's now talk about the page level of a survey. On the page level we will create the first question by clicking the question button. A new window opens with a list of all the question types available. For the welcome page select the category text and multimedia and then text and image. Create a question title. Click save and edit. Next you get to the question level. On the question level you enter your question text. For the text layout there are some options available above the text field. Advanced users can use HTML to format the text. When you're ready, click Save. You can see the results in the question preview now. Now we create a ranking question. First you have to create a new page. To do so, switch back to the question editor. Add the new page now. Create another question. Select the question type Ranking and then Drag Ranking. After entering a title, click Save and Edit. Let's make a few settings. First, enter the question text. And then enter the fill-in instruction. Then enter the answer options. Five response fields for your answer options are predefined by default. By checking the delete column, you can remove the fields not needed. If you need additional fields, simply add them by clicking the plus. Here you can also specify whether answer options should be randomized or hidden under certain conditions. If needed, other settings can be made in the detail and layout configuration of the ranking. Many question types can be customized to your needs via the detail configuration. Again, you can check your question in the question preview. Let's create a filter now. Filters help you to implement branches in the questionnaire depending on previous participant responses. In this case, only those persons who voted the software of Questback in the ranking into first place should see the next question. For the creation of the filter, click on Filter on questionnaire level. Specify a title, jump to filter definition, and indicate that an empty standard page should be added into the new branch. Here you can define when the filter is to be triggered. The variables to be filtered are selected via the drop-down menu. In this case, we choose the variable Best Software. The filter takes hold only when Best Software is in first place. Now edit the page that appears when the filter is triggered. We will create a new question to find out which products of Questback the participant uses. We choose the question type Multiple Response List Vertical. Enter the question text. Enter the fill-in instruction. And finally the answer options. Now we will edit the final page. 
Back in the Questioner Editor, we will now edit the text of the final page. For this, we select the question type Text and Multimedia and click Save and Edit. Enter a brief goodbye text and format it. Afterwards, click Save. Now take a look at your survey in the preview. The preview in the survey menu enables you to look at the completed questionnaire. Click through the whole questionnaire and also test the filters. In the questionnaire editor you can see the created pages and filters of your questionnaire in overview. Click on the buttons Show All, Show Questions and Show Filter Conditions to get a more detailed overview. In addition, you can change the order of pages, filters and questions by drag and drop if necessary. The next step is to activate the project. Watch the next tutorial now and good luck with your project!